Hey, what's up, guys? It's Moogle Lord here, and I'm back again with another video. We're going to talk a bit about Square Enix and their crazy obsession with NFTs. I don't know why these guys are doubling down on it. So, we're going to dive right into this video. But before we begin with that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell for more JRPG and fighting game content here on this channel. So, we're going to dive right into it. Now, if you guys forgot what we talked about i guess you could say a few months ago where screen enix had made an announcement or they had trademarked a particular name called symbiote genesis now symbiote genesis what most people were ex assuming was that it was going to somewhat had something to do with parasite eve because if you guys don't know that was a major um part of that franchise and many people were speculating that maybe hey we could get an hd remaster or collection or a potential reboot remake sequel or whatever and i was excited too but i also tempered my expectations because come on we already know our relationship with square enix they do some things where you applaud them and they just do other things and you just you know scratch your head and like why what the hell and one of them and the major thing i believe for most fans is this whole fan fanatic like obsession with nfts and that's what's going on right here we're going to continue with the symbiote genesis because we finally had got a i guess you could say a teaser trailer and of course they have the website up to give us a little bit of an understanding of what's going on and i was going to say this i'm not going to is this is not going to change my mind and i don't think it's going to change a lot of people's minds um for those who are fans of square enix so we're going to dive right into it we're going to look at this quick teaser and then from the teaser we'll go straight into the website so all right we go check this out let's see what we got here serial genesis okay <sighs> Jesus. And the music sounds like something from like a GRPG from like the 90s too, as well, like PS1 era. So we get like, I guess this is like the world that they're introducing with Symbiote Genesis. So it has nothing to do or anything close or near. Parasite Eve. So, untangle the story. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go check out the uh, website, website. Symbiote Genesis. And it actually has, like, the map that they're showing off in the teaser and everything. So, we want to get down into it. Get down and dirty into the business with this. So, this is their roadmap in their campaign with this whole thing. And I just don't understand. So, we have Phase 2 that... I guess we missed I guess phase one was the I guess the initial teaser so phase two is from is from, from be from the 17th to the 23rd of March so right here it says the official website treasure hunting campaign held find a hidden treasure NFT on the floating content the treasure hunting campaign and how uh, to play is now open so they actually got that we'll, we'll, we'll check that out too okay Find a hidden treasure NFT on a floating island. Hints will be available on the official Discord. So you have to join the Discord to get hints and everything. And then you have to schedule. So this is how to play. Explore the map to get NFTs. The map can be zoomed in and out, moved around, up and down. Okay, so it's just showing you how to play. And it says the reward is member card NFT green. Even if you have more than one member card green, they will be treated as one card in the game notes one campaign entry per wallet address the campaign will end when the specified numbers of cards have been issued however more may be added at a later date so it, they so this give you extract instructions on that so it, they they're already trying to get you into this so what is symbiote genesis which we want to dive into a completely new form of entity based entertainment where 10,000 collectible artworks meet real game utility and this is the and this is the thing they, they keep trying to push with these NFTs. They 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 take in real life and now they're trying to bring it into your gaming experience. But the whole point of gaming is to get away from real life. So it's just greedy corporations 
just trying to find a way to just nickel and dime you nickel and dime you for everything you got even after you you know you spent money on the game they're still trying to do they still trying to grab more money out of you so nft collectible artworks character nfts so all 10,000 nft characters have a unique design with various races and professions with a bust up pictures that can be used as i guess you say uh picture profiles um they will be sold as each chapter of a total of six is unveiled so we already going to know how they're going to do this they're going to give they're going to probably create shitty pictures and then they're going to create some of the most badass pictures so it's to pretty much to create this sense of oh i have to get this so i can stand out more than others but the only the thing i don't understand about this whole nft with artworks and stuff they're just jpegs something that you can just right click save as and then you have it in your computer i don't understand the value of having pro a jpeg i really don't see it and i'm can somebody enlighten me is there an nft bro here that watches my content or anything i don't understand why what's what's so what's the significance behind just having ownership over a jpeg that you can just go on the internet and grab anywhere so it says game utility. This game genre is defined as narrative unlocked NFT entertainment. As you unlock the main story, as well as the individual stories of each character, unravel the mysteries of the, the mysteries of the world. So we we have yet to see the character designs. Hopefully they have character designs in this or anything like that. But now you can't really engage in the story unless you you know you do these unlocks. And as you get the unlocks, you'll be able to get nfts and everything so their stories are trapped behind the nfts or behind the unlock um, mechanic so this is how these nft games work i guess so the gameplay so progress through the main story of missions while also unlocking the stories held by the characters find the items hidden throughout the floating content determine the ending of the story by participating in the world missions where the ultimate choice will be made so i guess we can dive into I guess let's find out the characters let's see what these characters are uh, uh let's see let's see character races and main protagonists so they don't even have any pictures <laughs> oh my god so species appearing in chapter one normies and it's you know it's a lot of normies on twitter as well so a species that has strong rep reproductive ability and has developed well enough to create communities in various parts of the floating continent they have the largest populations among all species. They try to avoid conflict and the desires to live peacefully on the floating island. Chapter one starts with the story of Lambda, the concert, uh, conservator and his community of the land of salvation. And then you have spikes with their character. Ristics are horns. Spikes are a race with strong and resistant bodies. Although very aggressive, they have maintained good relationships with the people of the land of salvation. It is said that somewhere on the floating um, continent exists a country of spikes. Now, this, this is the thing. We're getting all these different species and everything. They're, they're naming all this stuff, but they have no pictures. So I, I'm going to just click around and see if there are any pictures of characters. Okay. Generic, of course. So, and this, I guess this would be only a character replica allows you to read the same story as owning the original character NFT. What in the hell? Oh my God. This, I, I'm telling you right now, we know the history, you know, of uh, Square Enix when they come to their mobile games and now they're trying to take on this new NFT business venture. It's not going to work. We already seen what happened to First Soldier um final fantasy 7 for a soldier the game have not having haven't been a, a full year and it shut down its services you know and then we also had the avengers game which is another square enix live service title that pretty much just died and then we, of course we have babylon fall another live service game that didn't even make it through, through an entire year or didn't stand that long and it died so they have a history of failure when it comes to these type of games, these services, and these games they where they're just trying to nickel and dime you any chance they can get you. And then this obsession with this whole NFT coming from Square Enix and the CEO after they dump one CEO and they replace another one. And this uh, 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 CEO 
also has this obsession with NFTs, and I don't understand how this is lucrative. They've been losing money with live services game, and it's like they're just doubling down on this. I don't. This is this is not going to make it. This is not going to work. If Final Fantasy First Soldier, and they made and they screwed that up. They that that should have been something they could have just knocked out of the park, and they screwed that up. Yet alone now, they put out they working on a new IP that's NFT based. You really think? that this is actually going to work. This is a disaster waiting to happen. This is a failure waiting to happen. And guess what? I'm going to sit back and I'm going to enjoy this. this it, because hopefully, let's just pray that this failed to the point where Square Enix would just, a light bulb would just click in on them and say, you know what? This is not going to work out. This is not going to work out at, at all. Uh, maybe we should just, just pull away from NFTs and just mobile games in general, because we still have yet to see uh, Final Fantasy Ever Crisis release date. I don't even think the beta is out yet. So they, they, we heard nothing. They just radio silent about it. And then we have a Kingdom Hearts uh, mobile game that's coming as well. I just think all these type of titles are just dead in the water. I just think Square Enix should just stick to what they know, and that's just creating JRPGs. And if they focus more on that and perfect that even more. I think they can get themselves back up to the square that I used to grow up and love, you know, but for this generation. But that pretty much wraps up this video. I just want to give you my thoughts on this. They don't really have anything to really show off. They just, it's just mo most of it just explanations behind things. And it's not even worth, you know, me simply trying to explain all of this to you guys. Cause I know a lot of you guys here aren't interested in it, but I just want you guys to see what Square Enix is just doing. You know, they, they're wasting all their time, all their effort, and all their resources in, in business ventures that they shouldn't have no business being in. They're just not good at it. They're not good at, at, at it at all. They should focus on creating the best JRPGs they possibly can and also reinventing or taking a specific genre of JRPG and just improve it, improving upon it, you know? So I, I just hopefully just hopefully they get it together. I like hopefully this thing bombs or hopefully this thing doesn't get the support that it gets that can pretty much tell these guys just to step away from this. So I definitely want to hear your thoughts in the comment sections below. What do you think about this whole NFT business venture that Square Enix is on right now? Do you think this symbiote genesis is going to work out for itself? Or do you think it's just going to just fail altogether? So definitely hear your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be seeing you game fiends later. This is Mugen Lord, signing off. Peace out.